Yeah, I'll send you a message, sir. When the others join, I'll send you a message. You can say, you can say. Okay, sir. Yeah, I'll... Message I yes. might not. Okay, sir. I'll do that. Good morning, sir. Jairam, sir. Good morning, good morning, Ravi. Good morning, sir. Menon, sir. How are you, sir? Hi. Just, just I was mentioning your name uh, to Shobita. XC communication. She wanted your number. I, I, I have given her. She will speak to you after 11.30. Sorry for the interruption. Okay. Okay. How are you, Jan, sir? Oh, fine, Menon. I thought uh, you have not yet joined. Now I can see your face. Good. Good hey, to see you. My Amma is not there. Yeah, yeah, I know. You told me that yesterday. So, Thanks to call me. <laughs> so, I thought, okay, maybe I'll finish now. I finish collaboration and then I'll take you to hospital. I think I finish okay, okay. before I I think Bellari went very well. Yeah, yeah, it went very well. They are uh, they're very enthusiastic uh, people. Very good. Hey, sir, how are you? Sir? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Ravi is still there, right? Yes, sir. I am there. I am there. Sir. Ah, okay, okay. How are you, sir? Fine, thank you, sir. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Uh, welcome to you. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. How is weather in Bangalore now? Now, uh, two days ago it was raining, sir. Today it is a very sunny day. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Where my Actually, audio is. Audio is okay, sir? Yeah, audio is perfectly all right. Audio is perfectly oh, all right. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. We all look forward to We were expecting rains today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, actually, in Kerala, because I think our monsoon has arrived two days back. Uh, just so two once days monsoon rain. arrives in Kerala, I think we will have uh, rains even in Karnataka. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice to know. Uh, Ram sir, Dr. Vinay is here. Who? Who? Dr. Vinay Kumar. Dr. Vinay. Uh, Dr. Vinay, welcome. Maybe his audio might not be there. Right? His audio is muted. Uh, no, he will be, he will, uh, maybe it is only when 24. Vinay is a good morning. Ah, Dr. Vinay, good, good morning. I have some problem with the network. Ah, uh -huh. no. okay. But I, I think you can hear us, right? Good morning, Jeram, sir. Good morning, good morning. Oh, Reno, uh, Reno, very yes, nice. Sir. Good morning. Welcome, Reno Gandhi. Good morning, sir. Is there sir? Good morning. Hello, okay. Hello. Ram Krishna is also there. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Ram Krishna, are you regular now? Very good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Uh, Ram sir, we have Dr. Manzur Ali PP, the principal of MES College with us. Okay, Hi, sir. Okay. Hi, sir. It's uh, Manzur. Dr. Dr. Mansur, in fact, we RCA owe you a big thanks. Such oh, a okay. short time, your team has organized this. Thank you so much. Oh, th thank you, sir. Me too. Me too gratified. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Ram, Ram sir, Kuti sir has also joined. Oh, very good. Good team, morning, welcome. Sir. Hi, good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Dr. Vinay, sir. Morning, morning, Renu Ganda. 
Monday morning mantra started now. Hi <laughs> sir, Dr. Hamid Kumar. Uh, well, Hello. Uh, good morning. Good wishes. Good wishes to all all the participants. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ramendra. Ramendra. Good morning, Chief Mayor, Madam. There cannot be any Monday blues with all these smiling <laughs> faces. Good morning, Ramendra Ji. Good morning, all. I am Dr. Nidhi Jamal. Hi. Good morning, ma'am. Good. Uh, Good morning, sir. I am Dr. Bindu, uh, Department of English H uh, Head. Thank you all for joining morning, us very morning, early. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you all. Chinmay Pravi, Chinmay Pravi, ma'am. Welcome. Morning, Ram sir. Morning, morning. How are you? I'm good. Good to, good to see you all here. There, there is only one problem: not able to get a haircut. <laughs> so the last three months, I'm like this only. <laughs> I think last last year. No, it, it's box. a problem. Do morning, Jairam sir. Those who have hair, they will have a problem. Morning, how are you? Namaskara. Namaskara, namaskara. Ramendra Kumar ji, welcome. Thank you. Yes, uh, we reach seventy four, seventy five. Hello. Five. Fantastic. Uh, Chinmay has joined. I yes, think. madam. Is yes, uh, well, uh, welcome to me, ma'am. Yes, sir. Good morning, Chinmay, madam. National chairman of YCC. Ram, sir. Yeah. Tell me, ma'am. Uh, it's almost uh, getting to be ten thirty. Uh, do you think uh, we should wait I a bit more or? I'll just one second, Dr. Doctor, please. Of course. Keep on the door. Yeah, Ram. Mom. Good morning. 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 Good Good morning, Good morning, Abul Hassan sir. Abul Hassan sir is the secretary and correspondent of MS College Marambili. He has also joined us. Welcome, welcome. Good morning, Gita, madam. So, Gita has come very well. Welcome, Gita. Hi, good morning. Yes, good morning. Good. 
Hi, good morning. Hey. Hey, Gitaji, welcome. Yeah. Oh, we hit a surgery. Bindu Bar? Bindu Bar? Sir, Ram, sir. Our Google and Google Meet capacities uh, uh, begin the program? Yeah, yeah. Or should we wait yeah, yeah. for a few more minutes? Everybody is from the site. We can start for all the From PRC site is here. We will not wait now. Good morning, uh, Professor B.K. Ravisa. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. In, uh, in other name, uh, people uh, people <laughs> trying to recognize you. Your it's name showing that uh, B Maya Krishna. Yeah, it's uh, not in your. My name your is name. B Maya Krishna. B Maya Krishna name is showing now. Oh, that's why. No, B Maya Krishna. Ravi is yeah. my name. <laughs> I'm Chapasati. B Maya Krishna. You know that B K Ravi sir. B Maya. B Maya is my BK. grandfather. Oh, B K Ravi. B K Ravi sir. My father. Ravi. <laughs> Yes, uh, welcome, can sir. Good morning. Can we, can we begin? I think we can start now. Yeah. Ram. Yeah. Let's start. Yeah. Let's yeah. start. With permission of our principal and all esteemed PRCI members, it's 10 30. Uh, our yeah. Google Meet. Uh, capacity is to the maximum and with your permission let us begin this program i welcome you all good day thank you Good morning. Uh, I request all of you to turn off your uh, mics so that the show can go very well. Thank you. Much obliged. A grateful heart is the beginning of greatness. It is an expression of humility. It is the foundation for the development of virtues. Let's begin the function with a prayer by Krishna Priya M.
Thank you, Krishna Priya. The essence of the prayer is to be a good human being by all means. It urges us to find peace through truthfulness. The prayer asks us to always be cautious that Earth is our mother and all living beings are our relatives. Barriers of caste and religion should be thrown away and everyone should be treated equally. Respect the principal of the college, Dr. Mansur Ali Pipi, Chief Guest, Honorable Minister of State for Higher Education, Dr. Abindu, Keynote Speaker, Dr. B.K. Ravi, Chairman of PRCI, Mr. M.P. Jairam, National President PRCI, Dr. T. Vinay Kumar, National Secretary General, Mr. U.S. Kuti, National Head PRCI YCC, Ms. Chinmay Parveen, Director of PRCI YCC Kerala, Mr. Ramsey Menon, Chairman of the College Management, Janab M.A. Mohammed, Head of the Department of English, Dr. Bindu Jamal, Kishas, and my fellow compatriots. Let me start by wishing you all a beautiful and wonderful good morning. The media are a ubiquitous presence in the lives of the contemporary youth. The television shows they watch, the movies they see, the music they listen to, the video games they play, the website they visit, all play a major role in the upbringing of a young person's life. It offers them a different stream, providing them experience, ideas, and moreover, knowledge. The development in communication technology brings the media into young people's reach as never before. With the rise of digital platforms and the growth of internet, the amount of time young people spend engaging with these said medias have risen significantly. Society's perception of the young are also shaped through media. As early adopters of this ready technology, young people tend to be at the forefront of new technological innovations and thus shaping it through their practices. Fostering a culture of dialogue and debate about the importance of modern communication approach amongst youth would provide a better appreciation for diversity, peaceful coexistence, and enables them to play an active role in societal development. Initiating dialogue and collaboration between media practitioners and young people will train children and youth to develop media literate skills to validly respond to the media for a more informed and empowered citizenry. On that note, with distinct honor and immense joy, I welcome you all to the inauguration ceremony of the Young Community Leaders Club, MAS College, Marampalli. The Public Relations Council of India is an independent organization that operates in the field of public relations, communication, marketing, and education. Mm -hmm. They provide business enthusiasts intending to serve by promoting questionable ideas in their respective areas of work and offers accreditation to professionals in this field. To extend the opportunities offered by PRCI to the students' community at large, the organization has launched a national initiative called the Young Communicators Club, providing an excellent platform for the youth to learn the ropes of the industry to interact with prestigious personalities in the field of business and communication through a series of seminars, workshops, contests, and creative events. Today, we are gathered to witness the inauguration of the Young Communicators Club of MES College Marambali. MES College Marambali is a government-aided college established in the year 1995 and affiliated with Mahatma Gandhi University, Kottayam. The college has been re-accredited by NAC with A plus grade, which is the first ever highest grade in the state as per the revised process of accreditation. The campus is located in a rural area between the town of Alwa and Perbaul, set in the salubrious, lush green surroundings in close vicinity of the River Peria and a stone's throw away from the Cochin International Airport. The college offers more than 30 degree courses and 70 vocational courses, seven vocational courses, providing the life of education to more than 3,000 students. The college has produced most notable alumni and has played an integral part in ensuring proper higher education to children in and around the locality. The Department of English, MS College Marampoli, was established in the very year and offers a unique triple main undergraduate course focusing on the subjects of literature, communication, and as well, journalism. It is one among the very few colleges in the state to offer this course. The postgraduate course offered by the department focuses on English literature and language as the course subject. We are certain that students from across all disciplinaries, especially HR, uh, human resources, masters of business administration and English and more, shall be benefited from this club and shall come forward to be a part of it. 
since the pandemic has confined us at our homes, we thought we could bring our college to you. So here's a small touch view of our college. Do enjoy. <laughs> I hope you all liked it. We are thrilled to have you in our midst with some of the most accomplished scholars in the respective fields to enlighten and bless this occasion. Let us commence the program officially by welcoming our distinguished guests. From holding the title as the executive director of Kerala's first professional event management company that evolved into a leading national event company, Impresario, which was established in 1995, to being the co-founder of the advertising and marketing firm Impress PR. Mr. Ram C. Menon, the director of PRCI Young Communicators Club of Kerala, is easily one of the most influential faces in the field of public relations in India. With a postgraduate degree in marketing management and marketing communication, his eminence as a resource person to management and mass communication educational institutions is certainly remarkable. With that said, I humbly invite Mr. Ram C. Menon to deliver the welcome address. Sir, you're on mute, sir.
Can you hear me now? Yeah, now it's okay, sir. Go ahead. Good morning, all. Honorable uh, Minister of for Education, Professor uh, R. Bindu, uh, our distinguished uh, Chairman Emeritus and Chief Mentor, Mr. M. P. Jera, uh, Dr. Mansur Ali, the Principal of MBS College, Marambali, Mr. Vinay Kumar, rather Dr. Vinay Kumar, the National President of ERCI, Mr. E.S. Kuti, the National Secretary General of ERCI, Dr. B.K. Revi, today's keynote speaker, Ms. Sinmayi Praveen, National Head ERCA YCC. We have Janab, Janab Muhammad, who is actually the chairman of MBS College. Uh, we have uh, Jiti Sadashivan, secretary of uh, Kochi PRCA chapter. And uh, we have a lot of dignitaries from PR PRCA join, uh, joining today. I welcome all of them. And also we have our HOD, the one who actually the brain behind this, uh, for this uh, the whole function is uh, Dr. Bintu Jamal, HOD of Department of English. And also he, uh, her deputy and the team member, Rajesh Rajkumar. And uh, of course, uh, there are uh, people from joining from YCC, the faculty coordinators, HODs, student leaders from other, uh, other YCC chapters. And uh, also, uh, I would like to welcome the faculty members of uh, MBS College and the students. What a great morning. There's no Sunday blues. And the beginning is glorious with that uh, voiceover and the video. And as a, as a head of Kerala YCC, I'm proud to say that it is a seventh YCC chapter in Kerala. And PRC always believes in the power of youth and synergizing the talent and power of youth with the wisdom of the seniors. That is why PRC came out with the industry institution interaction in the form of YCC, Young mm -hmm. Communicators Club. So it acts as a bridge between the institution and the industry. Of course, uh, Kiraj, May, and the rest of the people are here. Of course, we will talk about YCC more. Uh, for me, I think it's a great occasion to come into this college, PRC, especially by representing PRCA. And uh, we are looking forward to uh, great things here. And uh, I, Jayaram uh, sir, and of course, I uh, I think we, uh, everybody knows, okay, he is actually the heart and soul of uh, PRCA movement right from 2003 onwards. A hearty welcome to you, sir, to this occasion. And of course, next in, I would uh, like to welcome uh, our national president, uh, Dr. T. Vinay Kumar. In fact, Dr. Vinay is actually, his energy and enthusiasm is unlimited. Certain things, in fact, we discussed about this event even yesterday midnight. That's the kind of support and encouragement he gives to all of us. Dr. Vinay Kumar, a hearty welcome to this function. Also, this particular function is possible with the help of, uh, or rather support and encouragement of principal of MBS College, Marambali, uh, Dr. Mansur Ali. And he is the first person to whom I've uh, touched with. And the moment he heard about this initiative, he said, okay, we are on. Welcome, Dr. Mansur Ali. Thank you for your uh, support. And uh, uh, Dr. B.K. Revi, uh, I think is uh, far excellent academician and practitioner, uh, head of the uh, Department of Communications in Bangalore University, and uh, not only an Indian, but Indian international media personality. Sir, welcome you to this occasion. My pleasure to welcome our National Secretary General, U.S. Kuti. 
he actually have only few words but those words are actually wisdom welcome to this okay he is the ycc movement in india none of that the chindi pravin the leading light of uh, india and communication industry representing the youth power the chindi pravin i welcome you to this grand occasion there are a lot of other people also here on uh, i i probably there are a lot more people that joined but then a lot of prci is there uh, ramendra kumar ji is there renuga anjali is there geeta ji is here uh ramishna ji is there so welcome and who are from prci hearty welcome to all of you in the group and uh, uh, also uh, i welcome of course my own team member didi uh, didi uh, didi sadashivan the secretary of uh, kochi uh, chapter of prci and uh, uh, janab mohammad who is the chairman of ms college uh, sir i welcome you to this uh, occasion and uh, of course uh, uh, bindu uh, madam who was actually a tremendous support to me and the prci for actually forming this chapter and her uh, her teammate uh, rajesh uh, an ever ready uh, young man and these two have actually made this occasion possible and uh, i welcome both of you to this uh, to this function and the student uh rest of the faculty members everybody here if i missed out anyone uh, of course welcome to all of them thank you so much let's start the program now thank you sir thank you so much for the words Ladies and gents, uh, Dr. Arbindu, Minister of the State for Higher Education, has promised that she would join us and inaugurate the function at 10:30. Uh, but due to some unexpected but critical official engagements uh, right now, she won't be able to make it for the inauguration. But she has sent us her regard, her greetings, and good wishes along with a recorded message. To speak about our chief guest of the day, Dr. Arbindu, she's an academician turned politician, an alumnus of the prestigious Jawaharlal Nehru University. She has served as a vice principal and head of the department at Sri Kerala Varma College, Thrissur. An eminent scholar in English literature, she has proved a commitment to social service by becoming the first woman mayor of Thrissur Municipal Corporation. In the current cabinet, she serves as the minister for collegiate education, technical education, entrance exams, NCC, additional skills acquisition program, social justice, etc., to name a few. Her words of encouragement are certain to enlighten the crowd. We'll be playing an inaugural message now. She has promised to join and cooperate with our YCC chapter in the programs we plan to organize in the future. With your permission, I will now play the recorded audio message inaugurating our function. Respected dignitaries, respected dignitaries, who participate in this meeting respected teachers and dear students at the very outset let me congratulate the pg department of english ms college marambilli for opening a chapter of young communicators club in association with public relation council of india a pan indian communication exchange forum with its presence in 38 indian cities and towns the proposed club may open up new possibilities for the young students of the college to shed their inhibitions and to develop their communication skills this will contribute a lot to enhance industry and institution interface providing opportunity for the students to interact with the larger society outside the campus 
the activities proposed by the club will give immense scope for them to get familiarized with current trends and the ways in which the PR industry operates. Equipping students to develop beyond the framework of the conventional classroom structure, the Young Communicators Club may give them opportunities to develop their communication skills through workshops and panel discussions. In present-day global society, public relations can be seen as an important driving source of the society's and individuals' growth. Whether we like it or not, it becomes unavoidable and inevitable. So the Young Communicators Club would surely be a boon for the youngsters of the college in carving out their future. I am in immensely happy to inaugurate the Young Communicators Club, which is being organized by the PG Department of English, MUS College, Marambili. Best wishes to the members of the club and best wishes to the organizers and teachers of the departments. Thank you. With these words, I conclude and I inaugurate the Young Communicators Club, Marambili MES College. We are very grateful to have Dr. R. Bindu inaugurate our club. Now, as the recipient of the 2008 IMM Award for Excellence for the yes, Best sir. Public Relations Person of the Year, Dr. M. V. Jairam, the Chief Emeritus and Mentor of CRCI, has also demonstrated his prominence in the field by serving as the press advisor of Sri SM Krishna the then Chief Minister of Karnataka. Mr. Jairam is a veteran in PR and communication and is presently the PR advisor of NTPC, which is the largest power generating company in India. It is my pleasure to welcome Mr. M. V. Jairam to deliver his message. Sir, you're on mute, sir. Can you hear me now? Yeah, now it's good, sir. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Bhatima Asraf, for uh, uh, good words about me. Thank you so much. Uh, I am very happy to be here with you all today at this uh, Vicinity, MES College, uh, Marapalli. Uh, I think it's in the Ernakulam district, if I'm right. And uh, I have gone through your beautiful video clipping, and you have about uh, 26 years of the history of this college. Uh, it, they say 1995 it was inaugurated, I mean, started this uh, in um, uh, with the help of. Uh, affiliated to MG College of uh, Kottayam. It is a great thing. And uh, two big uh, colleges come together, what will happen? There will be lots of uh, people coming in. So uh, I remember, I think uh, uh, most of the students are from uh, abroad, I mean, um, uh, from Gulf countries. So once a college is good, there will be a lot of inquiries, and then uh, they will join such colleges only. Congratulations to MES College, and thank you for the English department for st to start this, uh, uh, <clears throat> particularly YCC chapter. I think it is the seventh chapter in, in, in our man. Uh, thanks to the one and only Ram Menon to make it happen in Kerala. I think. Uh, he will be the godfather for Kerala 
for uh, making a lot of YCC chapters. He, uh, he is beating all other uh, states and uh, com uh, coming number one, I'm sure about that. Uh, Dr. Ravi, today's uh, uh, guest speaker, uh, we all know him, uh, uh, and he is also one of the directors of uh, our PRCI, and he is a very knowledgeable person. He has traveled abroad. He is a guest faculty in many universities of uh, US, Canada, and uh, so many places. Uh, whenever we want some people, we used to go for him, and uh, he used to get good lot of professors for uh, guest lectures. A very warm welcome to you, Dr. Ravi. And uh, Mr. Mohammed, uh, the chairman of MES College, uh, the general secretary, Mr. Sadashivan, and uh, uh, Binduji, uh, the HOD of English, and there are so many other people from uh, uh, Kerala. If I mention a few, our, our own man, Dr. Vinay, the national president, Kuti, our general secretary, the one and only Ramendra, because he's uh, our county editor and also director of the board. And uh, Geeta Madam, she is the president of YCC uh, the body, bo governing board. And Chinmay, uh, she is the national head of uh, YCC. And there are uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Ram Krishna, the one of the EC member of Bangalore chapter, and uh, Mr. Uh, Renukanand, head of uh, the, the director of uh, material management committee, All India, and there are so many from Bangalore and other places. I welcome all of them. And Mansur Ali, sorry, he is also there. Vinay is there. Uh, uh, very well, welcome to them. And uh, before starting, uh, I don't want to take much of your time because uh, there are two servers of YCC. Um, Chinmay Praveen and Geeta Shankar. They will talk about more about the YCC because they are uh, all uh, they are, uh, the uh, in and out of uh, YCC. They will be knowing more than me. In fact, though I am the founder of YCC, they are the people who really work day and night for this organization. Now, one more addition is Ram uh, Ramanan and Mr. Ramendra. They they will also help us in. Uh, uh, and the growth of YCC. Uh, PRC, uh, as you all know, has 40 chapters across the country and four chapters uh, in the outside outside our country, uh, in the sense uh, Nepal, Bhutan, and uh, 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 one more place is uh, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, and soon we are going to have in Bu uh, uh, Bhutan, sorry, uh, and uh, Singapore, uh, Malaysia, and uh, Australia. These places also we are uh, going to have PRCA chapters under the uh, banner of the World Communicators Council. And again, uh, for the benefit of the students, PRCA started a youth wing uh, uh, called as Communicators Club, YCC, in uh, 2013, especially for uh, youngsters. Uh, those who are studying communication, PR, and allied subjects, um, journal, English journalism, and other things. The prime objective of this uh, profession, <coughs> this professional forum, is to leverage the rich experience and dominant knowledge of PR professionals for the benefit of the young students. The aim is to make the students not only get good exposure and first hand experience in PR and corporate communications, but also to make them responsible citizens and effective communicators. PRCA has taken laudable initiation of handing over the baton to the students as a gesture of the, its social responsibility. PRCA now has more than 30 chapters across the country, plus seven chapters in the, uh, in the Kerala state. Uh, our wish is, uh, YC is spread all over the country in good numbers, and uh, it will be a, uh, what do you call, uh, its aims and objectives are to effectively and regularly communicate with the purpose, purpose and responsibility towards a better society and 
bring in accountability in leadership. This is what we are expecting from YCC students. And I wish all the best to the young generation and the students, uh, particularly of uh, this uh, MES college. And I know that they, they will do uh, good for the benefit of the country, as well as their own country, if they're outsiders from uh, India. Uh, and they will know a lot of things once they come back from this uh, knowledge-based college. And uh, wish you all the best, good luck, and uh, also the worthy principal and the uh, professors and lecturers of this particular um, English department. Thank you one and all. Thank you, sir. Uh, this club starting in our college itself is one of our dreams. And at the same time, it's your dream coming true, sir. And uh, thank you so much for those kind words, sir. And we hope we make you proud, sir. Next, I'd like to welcome the principal who's in charge of the English college, the backbone and the man who's behind all the projects in our colleges, Dr. Mansur BP. He has 14 years of experience as an assistant professor and the head of the Department of Biotechnology at MES College, Marumpali. He has received his postdoctoral education from the University of Nebraska Medical Center, Ohama, USA. He has notably assisted the college in establishing IQAC following the accreditation by NAC. I humbly invite you, sir, to give us the speech. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. So good morning, everyone. So it is indeed, you know, as uh, Ram Mohan sir was mentioning, uh, uh, it's a blessed morning for MES College Marambali uh, because uh, the MES College Marambali has come up to, with an idea to have a think communicators club in collaboration with an esteemed organization like uh, Public Relations Council of India. And indeed, we can see the organizers and luminaries of uh, PRCI present here in this webinar platform. So for sure, you know, the MES College Marambali is flourished with the new establishment of ICDC. And of course, the idea very much behind it, it is to have or to strengthen or to fine tune the communication skills of the student. And that is one of the 21st century skill sets uh, a student must have because we all have, you know, understanding about the communication. And uh, of course, we might have learned, you know, the writing, speaking and those kind of skills in our school or college days. But how effectively we can communicate or how effectively we can use those arms uh, for to have, you know, or to, uh, you know, how to, you know, face uh, a work or how to face the near future. And that's what uh, even, you know, if you go through the Newell, uh, Newell Noel Harari book that, uh, you know, 21st century skills, and everyone, including, you know, Harari is mentioning uh, about the communication skill and the four C's, you know, particularly, you know, the four C's, uh, they are, you know, critical thinking, communication, collaboration, and creativity. So I was just looking into the presentation of, you know, uh, the coordination and, you know, the comparing done by the, uh, you know, Joel. So the Joel indeed is an example of MES College in Marambali. He's studying in English department, but he is a multifaceted, uh, you know, student. He is, you know, very much involved in the troubleshooting of, uh, you know, any uh, computer, you know, apps, whatever it may be, he used to handle. So that's what, you know, along with the communication, we need, you know, the creativity and collaboration component. And that's where, you know, the PRCI can add up and also uh, to strengthen the students of MES College Marambali. And I take this opportunity, once again, uh, I express my gratitude toward the PRCA to collaborate with MES College Marambali. And also, I truly congratulate uh, the English department, you know, they have come up with different, different ideas. And of course, we are blessed to have an inaugural address from our, you know, newly designated, newly, you know, uh, uh, the higher education minister of Kerala, uh, Professor R. Bindu. And also, they have come up with many, many, many creative things so as to organize this event, uh, an ever memorable event. And I congratulate the PG department, the head of the department of English, Dr. Bindu, Jamal, and also uh, the faculty coordinator, Dr. Rajesh Kumar, and also the student coordinators. Uh, to have this wonderful event to organize in our college and also I thank 
my management uh, to have this kind of platform so that should be in our MBS college Marambadi they are you know uh, very strict on that and I thank our uh, college management committee secretary advocate Abel Hassan sir and also our chairman will be joining soon Mr. M. A. Mohammed. they are the visionaries they are the foreigners of this college so once again I thank all the faculty colleagues and students and also the PRCI dignitaries who are all present here uh, have a good day thank you thank you very much thank you so much sir our next guest holds the title of being the first chair life to become the national president of prci with four decades of experience in pr and advertising the Vice President and Director of PRCI Young Communicators Club, Dr. T. Vinay Kumar, has proven his excellence in the field of public to his Additionally, he is the Founder Secretary and Trustee of Pepper Creative Awards Trust which organizes and conducts South India's biggest award shows in the field. I sincerely welcome Dr. T. Vinay Kumar to convey a few words about the program. Thank you. Thank you for the kind introduction. Uh, Professor Mansoor Ali, Principal, Jinnab M. Mohammed, Chairman, Abul Hassan, Secretary, Dr. Bindu Jamar, Achodi, Department of English, Rajesh Rajkumar, Faculty Coordinator, Mr. M.B. Jairam, our Chief Mentor and Chairman Emeritus, Dr. B.K. Revi, today's keynote speaker, and all the other dignitaries from various parts of India. Uh, our C.J. Singh, Senior Vice President, has also joined. Jairam Ji has forgotten to uh, mention his name. So Public Relations Council of India is the biggest communication association in India now with 40 chapters span India. With the motto, Communication for a Better World, we are striving to do our best to make effective communication possible by our programs, workshops, seminars, and activities. We have a global communication conclave every year in one of the cities of India. Last year it was in at Bangalore. This year we are planning it in September 17th and 18th at Goa. A lot of deliberations will take place, a lot of panel discussions, speakers will be there from all over the world. So it will be an education and learning process for the practitioners up for upskilling their, their skills and also for the students across India. There is special uh, fees, special rates for the students to attend. So I solicit uh, all of your presence in that conference. We also have a lot of other activities like uh, Daughters Day, World Communicators Day in the national level, apart from programs in the state and chapter level. Today, uh, we are having a very good topic for deliberation. COVID-19 has uh, made us digital friendly and online, online classes are the new normal. So these platforms, uh, uh, actually the multimedia quality of these platforms, we are using a lot of platforms like uh, Zoom, uh, Microsoft, uh, Google, a lot of platforms we are using. But the digital quality of these uh, platforms are of prime importance. As you know, almost 90% of the information transmitted to the mind, to the brain, is uh, visual. And they are processed 60,000 times faster than the text. So these factors will affect our media viewing experience. So more than just the content, they have to ensure the way they watch and perceive, the students will watch and perceive it. So our uh, today's speaker, Dr. B.K. Devi, the director of our uh, national executive, 
and the chairman of our master class. Master class is another activity of Public Relations Council of India. We have recently conducted a one-week certificate course. We are coming out with a lot of uh, diploma and certificate programs in association with the university. So those things we will discuss in later uh, in detail later. We also have a webinar series, talent hunt webinar series. Every Saturday we are having a program. So you, I request you to watch all these programs and participate. With these few words, and also wish wishing the new chapter of uh, YCC, MES College, Marambulli, uh, and the, its uh, chairman Has Hansa Hashim, and all the office bearers of YCC, uh, the very best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for teaching us that communication for a better world isn't just mere words for the club. It's something more that the whole world should recognize and to understand that communication is the basis in which us communicate and how we communicate ideas and, and the methods in which we learn through those communicative methods. I thank you, sir, for providing the wisdom on those things. Next, I would like to call our national head of YCC, Ms. Chin Methodi. She's a professional counselor and has published numerous articles and media regarding women in society and entrepreneurs, and is also an active member of the several organizations catering to the needs of society. Her ardent participation as a mediator for the upliftment of society has given rise to Vistara Kids, Kids Club, a societal organization initiated and directed by yours truly, that conducts its various activities free of cost, providing a platform for underprivileged and poverty belt children and help in nurturing them as future ambassadors for the dedicated social cause. She's also a founding member and a strategic panel of Ketwin Watson. Ma'am, I humbly invite you with all our hearts to deliver a wonderful speech. Thank you. Thanks for the wonderful words about me. Greetings, everyone. It's a great pleasure and honor to be amidst with you all this wonderful morning on one more YCC chapter inauguration. So it gives me immense pleasure to be here. So what I would like to say is, youth are never too end to change the world. Youth being the fulcrum of building better nation, their strength, energy, ideas, thoughts should be harnessed at every stage of their move. The reality of developed nation will soon become a part of our routine if at all our youth prefer to be change makers rather than the challenge winners. The potential of youth has gone untapped because we have become being used to become being subjugated and decried. As we all know and agree that our wealth is the end generation, it may feel elementary, but it is real. They play a very important role as a role models of quality and integrity in every field, be it politics, be it uh, science and technology, fields, agriculture, everything in every field they play as role models of quality and integrity. The youth has great minds and enormous ability to make the stage for the endeavors to convert their dreams to reality. So knowing that youth being the fulcrum and youth being the wealth, what does YCC's vision holds then? So the YCC's vision is to empowering youth for a holistic development. So bringing a strong awareness about the way communication can build a better society in buildings, one, individuals, personal proficiency and personal acumen, only academics in today's world, can't make youth a sustainable to live a sustainable living. So the curated programs of YCC will drive the innovation within the individuals to collaborate with the industry acumen. It teaches to implement the new ideas and unleashes the creativity within the youth. So the impactful practices, what the YCC promises, will make them the future ready leaders. So the power pack, lot of information at this sessions will be promised at your college by YCC. So without taking much of the time, the whole of the detailed deliberation would be done later under the guidance of our mentor, Mrs. Gita, and the thoughts bearer, Mr. N.V. Jairam, we would promise that we will give a power-packed sessions at your doorstep in your college. So 
To be precise, YCCC, YCC is a premium council which acts as a bridge between the academics and the corporate world. And on behalf of YCC and PRCI fraternity, I wholeheartedly congratulate the new inaugurated team and let us work for it and jointly rock. Thank you. Thank you so much for your encouraging words, ma'am. I am delighted to introduce our keynote speaker for the day, Dr. DJ Ravi, who has incredibly proven his excellence in the field to his numerous achievements. From publishing six books on media and articles in international research journals to producing several programs and documentaries, Dr. B.J. Ravi, Professor and Chairman of the Department of Communication at Bangalore University, has nearly 30 years of research and teaching experience and has chaired nearly 14 scientific sessions at international conferences. I cordially invite Dr. B.J. Ravi to deliver the keynote address. Good morning, uh, everybody. Uh, greetings from the Department of Communication at Bangalore University. I wish to congratulate uh, all the office bearers of uh, Young Communicators Club. I'm very happy to be with all of you during this uh, inauguration of uh, YCC. Uh, Dr. R. Bindu, the Honorable uh, Minister for Higher Education, Government of Kerala. Mr. M. B. Jairam, uh, the Chairman Emeritus of uh, PRCI. Dr. T. Vinay Kumar, the National President of PRCI. Mr. U.S. Kuti, National Secretary General PRCI, Ms. Chimai, National Head PRCI and YCC, Mr. Ram C. Menon, the Director PRCI YCC Kerala, the Principal of uh, MES College Marampalli, Mansur Ali, and all respected uh, teachers, uh, uh, the Chairman of MES College, Mr. Mahmud, the General Secretary PRCI Kochi, G.B. Sadashivan, and Dr. Bindu Jamal, uh, Mr. Rajesh Kumar, and all the office bearers of uh, PRCI and uh, YCC. So it's a great, great pleasure to be with all of you during the inauguration of uh, YCC in MES College in Marampalli. I'm very happy to see the excellent profile of uh, your college. I think uh, this is one of the most uh, prestigious and very important uh, colleges uh, of Kerala. So today, uh, during this inaugural session, I think uh, uh, I have given the topic of uh, words, images, sounds, linking pattern, and understanding of uh, perception and multimedia. Basically, as all of us know, I think some of our speakers have also uh, raised a very important points about the importance of communication, the process of uh, communication, how a process of communication needs to be very fruitful. See, basically, both PRCI and YCC, though these are all professional bodies uh, for your kind information, uh, from the past uh, three decades under the leadership of Mr. Jairam, we are not only organizing quite a lot of uh, conferences and seminars, as uh, our uh, National President uh, T. Vinay Kumar said, PRCI and YCC, we want our students not only from the fraternity of journalism and mass communication, we also encourage students from different fraternity, whether from faculty of science or management or engineering. We teach them quite a lot of practical uh, uh, courses. Uh, we want them uh, to enter the uh, field fully equipped. So amalgamation of both the theory as well as practical. And we have a very, uh, very big contingent of our uh, students and the YCC, especially in Karnataka. And I think I'm very happy that uh, I quite a lot of uh, branches, uh, even in Kerala, are uh, functioning uh, very well. So today, let us uh, look into uh, the basic concept, see the basic concept of communication, which needs to be very clearly understood. See, amalgamation of the message, the medium, and the masses. Whenever we have a message, and when it is amalgamated with the technology, see the fruitful communication process because the final uh, whatever the message you have whichever medium you may select whatever technology you may use but the first and foremost point is whether have you reached an individual is it possible for me as a communicator to reach the target audience 
is a very important factor that needs to be very clearly understood at every point of time whatever may be the potential whatever may be the message but as a communicator what to give when to give how to give how to present and in which format to give is very very important the understanding of a message digesting the digesting the message understanding the communication process of communication and knowing the target audience any communicator for that matter most of us all communicators what we do we always dream that we are reaching to 10% of the population which is not right even in interpersonal communication even in the classroom situation the reach if you just look into the data if you conduct a research on interpersonal communication there are communication barriers there are noise there are quite a lot of hurdles in communication process so if this is the case what is happening uh, uh, with the online situation how are we reaching them are we reaching them what is the percentage of message that's being reached are some of the very important factors uh, which we may have to look into today let us look into the most sophisticated uh, the technology whenever we talk of multimedia this is the era of multimedia the future is multimedia and now there is quite a lot of uh, opportunities in multimedia and how to exploit this medium yes, my dear friends please don't forget the fact that whatever technology you have you may have a computer you may have the text you may have the image you may have the audio you may have the video you may have the animation part the amalgamation of these all these formats the multiple formats on the one platform through a computer is considered as the multimedia the technology see earlier in our days we never had uh, the technology uh, whenever you compare it with the multimedia we never had uh, such a sophisticated technology but whatever technology you have please don't forget the fact that as a communicator you should be creative you should be in a position to visualize things you should be in a position to make placements you should be in a position to see to it the message reaches the people technology is for your advantage technology will definitely help you so you just look into the factor how a radio transformer what is the difference between the medium wave and the short wave the short wave will take uh, your uh, uh, signal much faster the audio signal is much faster the technology is with you and you have an excellent animation you have an excellent video you have an excellent audio all these formats amalgamated together this amalgamation of all these multiple multiple forms where we work in uh, multimedia see basically here see how do you use the words how do you um, exploit uh, the images how do you uh, place the sound how do you link all these things it's a very important uh, concept see earlier when cinema emerged with processors of vision how audio and video the amalgamation of audio and video the latest technology was television and after that we have started having quite a lot of other technology and now these the days of multimedia has come see as a communicator how will you utilize uh, uh, these concepts how will you utilize uh, the text the image how will you use the audio video along with the animation so all these formats multiple formats are ready with you but how effectively can you use it depends upon the creativity see and please the uh, majority of us uh, are under the impression that mere presence of technology mere presence of technology will not solve all our problems or mere presence of technology will not complete the process of communication we should be very very careful mere presence of technology will not complete the process of communication we should be very very careful uh, in analyzing the technology technology is with us we have to exploit how creative you are how you are going to present how you are going to exploit how you are going to um, uh, uh, very easily exhibit your talent in presenting using this multimedia because now we are very lucky because you have multiple form format which can be very uh, meaningfully very powerfully used so uh, whenever you use a word what is the use word that you needs to be used uh, how will you use a word 
which is right, which is wrong. How will you use the image? When will you use the sound? When will you use the animation? And how, see, basically, how will you persuade? How will you reach? See, basically, the perception, perception is the ability to see, hear, or become aware of something through the senses. The perception is also very, very important. So for any communicator, is the creativity, which is very, very important, and understanding of technology. See, these are one of the very basic points which you have to very clearly understand. As a communicator, what is the message? Digest the message. To whom are you giving? In what form are you giving? Understand the technology very in detail. Then you can definitely make use of uh, multimedia very meaningfully. So in, in the beginning, for some time, I will uh, present on multimedia. Maybe after my presentation, if there are any questions, definitely we can uh, move ahead. Uh, can I ask, uh, request the organizers to uh, play the video first? Because I'm going to show you a small video and later on discuss how the words, images, sounds, and how they have linked the patterns for the meaningful uh, uh, presentation and how the whole communication process will be fruitful. Can, can you please? Uh, uh, We can go for PPT. See, this is a small uh, uh, presentation. It is written down. How can we go for uh, the PPT, please? See, basically, you have uh, three. 
character, uh, how they are uh, uh, presented. You see, basically, the usage of sound, the uh, animation part, uh, the humanitarian uh, next, the humanitarian uh, element which uh, it has, and uh, you can see how the visual, the sound. See, basically, you have to understand the, the concept of perception. See, so basically, how do you define uh, perception? It can be defined as a process by which an individual selects, organizes, and interprets stimuli into a meaningful and coherent picture of the environment in which he lives. See, there are only, see the perception, the link, the John, Joy, and Heron. See, these are the three characters which a communicator makes an excellent presentation. It's a very short presentation where you have the amalgamation of the visual, the amalgamation of animation, amalgam amalgamation of your sound, and the way it has been presented. Please don't forget the fact that every frame, how you present, the duration of your presentation, how perfectly you make the presentation, and where is the continuity. These are some of the basic uh, factors which you have to keep in your mind. Because whenever you use the word, whenever you use the image, the basic concept of continuity, the presentation, how you place it, how you uh, present it, how uh, emotionally uh, you may have to make a present because you have a humanitarian touch for all these things. The, you, it looks very simple. John, Joy, and Heron. See, these are the three characters uh, and animation, the technology which you have. See, basically, you can uh, uh, very uh, uh, easily you can make out the way the sound has played a very important role. The images have played a very important role. And you have a humanitarian touch, the way it has been presented, how all these things are linked. See, the amalgamation of uh, a word, amalgamation of an image, amalgamation of a word. Next uh, slide, please. So uh, this, uh, this perception, you may have to very uh, carefully, you may have to understand. But repeatedly, I keep on telling, most of us are under the wrong impression that uh, mere presence of technology will not Mere presence of technology will not complete the process of communication. You may have multiple uh, formats, you may have uh, whatever technology, the latest technology you have, but how meaningfully and how usefully we make use of this? Because a lot of them are under the wrong impression that just by, you know, say, I'll just give you an example, just mere by having a mobile, will it complete the process of communication? No, not in almost 10% of the time, it, it is not. See, so how meaningfully the technology is being used? For that, you need the creativity, you may have to apply your mind, you have to work hard, try to think, see, because at every point of time, see, presentation, continuity, and usage of uh, the background sound plays a very important role. So basically, it is the situation, see, basically, uh, the time, work setting, social setting, See, media perceptions basically are built. See, they are built with uh, images, words, and sound. Uh, see, even in the placement of your image, placement of your words, and placement of the sound. See, if you reverse it, if you do it in ascending way, or if you do it in a descending way, the whole meaning, the, the communication potential can change. So, again, it is the matter of creativity and uh, understanding the technology and how effectively can we use this. See the situation, the target and the perceiver. See basically it is the time, work setting and social setting. And basically it is the size, intensity, background, novelty, proximity, motion. See these are some of the basic factors. Just like that, uh, uh, without making preparations, if you just make some presentation, don't be under the impression that uh, it will reach majority of uh, uh, your target audience. They should be very, very careful. So the attitude, the motives, the interest, experience, expectation. So these are basically how we, next uh, slide, please. So uh, how you see the perception is very, very important. See, um, uh, perceptual selectivity. Though people are exposed to several stimuli, 
they tend to select only a few at a given point of time. This is uh, perceptual selectivity. See, in the process of communication, if you give uh, to, to say multiple points, several points, and don't be under the impression that almost all those points are absorbed. No. Uh, so uh, what is this uh, subliminal uh, perception? When the stimuli is so subtle, uh, subtle that an individual may not even be conscious that he's exposed to some stimuli. So in media, right linkage of time, sound, design, and words would build a positive perception and demand. See, basically, it will have a uh, positive perception, which leads to demand. By understanding the secret, anyone can be successful. There are some of the uh, important factors which you have to remember. Next slide. See, basically, in the era of multimedia, Basically, the primary need to work on combination of text, graphic, sound, and animation, and video that is delivered interactively to the user by electronic or digitally manufactured means. See, in the multimedia, you have the text, you have the audio, you have the animation, you have the video, you have the graphic, you also use uh, the still images. See, it, it is uh, when compared to the uh, other technology, multimedia it is uh, user free. Only thing is how we effectively you make use of. Uh, these formats is very, very important. Next slide. So according to Dr. Albert uh, Mehrab, uh, Mehrabian, a specialist in interpersonal communication at the University of California, keys of the opinion that people recall around 20% of what they see most of the time. The, the, the recall capability is only 20%. 40% of what they see and hear even if this amalgamation of uh, audio and video, I think maybe 40%. 70% of what they see, hear, and do. So uh, this is uh, about interpersonal uh, communication. This multimedia allows for seeing, hearing, and doing the multi-sensory system. See, in interpersonal communication, I think uh, I really do not know. Even in uh, interpersonal communication, what is the percentage of uh, absorption? What is the percentage of understanding of how many points are being uh, really understood by the target audience? See, this is what uh, uh, Professor Albert uh, opines. Next slide. See, uh, characteristics of multimedia system, basically uh, they must be uh, computer controlled. See, the user is able to view, hear, and see using a multi multimedia PC system. They're integrated. I think I, in the beginning, as I told you, integration at least once uh, discrete and once continuous media combined for information presentation and sharing next there's some of the basics i'm uh, trying to tell you the information they handle must be represented digitally see basically uh, it has got the text graphics audio video animation so created it can be stored processed transmitted through digitally the interface to the final user may uh, permit uh, interactivity. User is unable to navigate, you may be unable to interact, create, and communicate. Next. See, what are the benefits of using multimedia in software? Basically, uh, it is uh, user friendly, it uh, increases uh, user's effectiveness, uh, and uh, it is intuitive interface, allows user to determine functions of an application by their own intuition, immersive experience. Software application takes over the entire computer screen, allows user to focus on application. These are some of the benefits of the multimedia in software. Next. And uh, it allows information processing at one's own pace, and uh, it's a better understanding. The uh, simultaneous presentation of different media provides richer and broader range of information. See, uh, whenever you use more, and uh, even the uh, cost effectiveness, uh, uh, and even the technical support is uh, comparatively less. And since you have uh, user-free uh, technologies, much easier. Next. So basically, what are the problems with the multimedia? Uh, so you have the problem with investment cost. Uh, multimedia involves high volume of content, expensive copyright and royalty. Copyright and royalty is a, a major thing. And you may have uh, technical barriers. Uh, you have to upgrade your uh, IT and PC infrastructure. 
socio-psychological barriers. Uh, uh, during presentation, you may have the generation gap, you may have the learning rates, learning in groups or individual, and importance of a teacher. You may also have uh, some of the legal problems like copyright. So you have both, whenever you are using multimedia, it's, uh, it has got both advantages as well as disadvantages. But when compared, uh, the, the user-friendly technology will, will definitely help us uh, in uh, uh, utilizing uh, this. Uh, and uh, most of the time, uh, the future of multimedia, and there will be a lot of question on the future of multimedia. My personal opinion is, I think in future, uh, because now is already multimedia has come to stay uh, in the coming days still is a quite a like a lot of uh, a good future uh, and uh, if the technology uh, the amalgamation of technology and creativity is only the positive results uh, will emerge only with amalgamation of creativity and the technology so and each of us uh, everybody will have their own opinion about the uh, future of multimedia it is like uh, blind uh, man narrating uh, an elephant but still if you just look into the technology and looking into the new trends of what exactly is happening at every point of time uh, definitely there is a lot of scope uh, for multimedia and even in the coming days there are possibilities that uh, because of covid 19 uh, the media industry is suffering a lot uh, but uh, maybe in the coming days there's a lot of uh, future and a person who can very uh, meaningfully exploit multimedia uh, with the dedication with a lot of hard work with a lot of uh, creativity will definitely uh, will succeed there is no doubt about it only thing is we may have to understand the methods understand the technology understand your target audience and how effectively can you make a presentation using this technology will decide the success of your process of communication uh, so uh, if you i think uh, i don't know whether uh, uh, i have to go further maybe uh, this is uh, regarding the multimedia how to use the multimedia uh, and uh, our younger generation especially the budding uh, communicators should very clearly understand there are some of the basics uh, which we have to understand the first and foremost lesson which we have to understand is you have to digest the message see there are quite a lot of uh, comments quite a lot of developments that are happening in media especially in indian media industry after the commercialization and privatization quite a lot of things that are happening is because without understanding the message without selecting the media without knowing the target audience. It's only the marketing forces, it's only the commercial uh, uh, ventures uh, which are leading, which is finally leading to uh, miscommunication and getting the signals back. So basically we have to digest the message. What is the message? When to give, whom to give, how much to give, what to give are some of the basic uh, questions that needs to be answered by any communicator. Whether you are in a classroom situation, whether it's offline or online, uh, whether you are doing uh, through multimedia, whether you are uh, using other formats, it's different. But the whole communication process, if the communication process should be fruitful, you may have to understand some of these things. A lot of them, we are under the impression that technology will do everything. No, technology is here to support you. But how effectively you use the technology that will decide the success of your uh, process of communication the success of uh, your reach because finally whatever the communicator may say whatever uh, uh, we may talk to what extent have we reached the target audience what is the percentage of absorption even almost all our teachers the, 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 we have a very basic question even if it's an interpersonal communication is an offline classroom what is the percentage of uh, syllabus that has been absorbed? So if you just look into the research details, it is uh, really amazing and shocking. Let us not go into all those uh, details. And uh, basically, uh, if uh, young communicators, if you keep these, some of these factors in mind, 
definitely you can do excellent uh, you can take up quite a lot of assignments uh, only thing is you have to have command over this technology the multimedia you to understand and definitely if you digest not only the message the technology and insert your creativity in it your process of communication will be definitely fruitful thank you very much and if you have any questions i am free to answer them thank you sir thank you so much for that session sir it was really wonderful and i think you broken down the basic meaning of communication and it's not merely just simply saying out loud in the classroom the receiver and the sender have to have a mutual connection between them in order to understand the message that is communicated and you spoke about the future of multimedia and it's not simply just sitting in a four classroom surrounded by four walls and just having windows it's going to be a digital platform it's going to be something of an interactivity as we have mentioned and it is not something that can be taken lightly because as the technology has moved on so should we and uh, i hope we can see the future in the coming days and i think you have shown us a glimpse on the road and how you're supposed to follow thank you so much sir thank you so much thank for you. that session sir thank you thank you now uh, we move on to the uh, interactive session so as i said the theme of the screen of is words images linking patterns and understanding of perception and multimedia and as usual i know most of you had questions and it will now be addressed and as usual please do have your mics mute and your videos turned off your questions shall be written in the chat box and if you are being asked a question you are requested to turn your videos on and you can speak directly to her uh, directly to sir so that's for it uh, register i request you to lead the session sir thank you joel uh, i'll be taking over the interactive session and uh, thank you ravi sir for a very informative session focusing on perception and presentation of ideas thank you uh, what you have said is really relevant and thank you for incorporating a very beautiful animation film and weaving your presentation around it thank you uh, i'm sure the students were really benefited by it and now we can formally move on to the question and answer session so students if you have any questions please feel free to ask Good morning, sir. Good morning. Tell me. I'm I'm Hidayat Munir from FIB English. Yeah. So my question is: when immersive virtual experiences are our new normal, what is it we feel humans in the virtual spaces? What is that? What? what? Sir, know. when immersive virtual experiences are our new normal, mm. what would be what would it be to feel human in the virtual spaces? Again, it depends upon uh, uh, one's presentation. See, basically, uh, I think uh, I can give an example of. Uh, I think I was uh, mentioning about the interpersonal communication. Uh, interpersonal communication uh, in the classroom is eye to eye uh, uh, reaction, and we we know. See, because any communicator for that matter. Uh, if the communication process needs to be very fruitful, even the atmosphere behind him, the people whom we, we reach, and all those things are very very important. But in the virtual situation, uh, the communicator most of the time is not under uh, the communication expert, or the communicator cannot control the situation. We do not know what exactly is happening with the another part of the stage. So basically. Uh, the presentation uh, needs to be done but most of the time uh, it's a bit difficult uh, whenever you do it virtually uh, again uh, that's why i said uh, uh, if you are very creative and if you are very touchy if it is very informative only then i think uh, the art of attracting your target audience uh, uh, and the challenge uh, plays a major role whenever we talk of uh, Uh, virtuality and the technology. See, only your capability. Whether uh, because the most of the time uh, in virtual mode, we really do not know. It seems like uh, everybody is before the camera, and what is the percentage of message uh, that, that's reached uh, cannot be assessed by the communicator. It's a bit difficult. Have I answered your question, Anit? 
Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, the, I believe that was a very relevant question, considering people are spending a lot of time on virtual spaces these days, especially after being confined to their homes due to the whole pandemic situation. People have suited and improvised their life uh, to become well versed in the sense of having an identity on a cyberspace as much as it is considered relevant as having an identity in a social space. So I believe that question was relevant. And now we may move on to the second question. Do we have a question? Yes, sir. Yeah. Tell me, tell me. Tell me. Uh, hello, sir. Good yeah. to have you here. I'm Hemza Hashim from SKBA English Literature Department. And my question is, uh, most of today's syllabus is basically spoon feeding. Like what do we- uh, Syllabus is? Spoon feeding. We read from spoon the text. Spoon feeding, yeah, 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 yeah. We give yeah. the exact material to the students and we are not actually giving them the time to think or to uh, thought process the material given to them. So what I wanted to ask was, how can we incorporate multimedia into the syllabus and their study, and will it really help the students? See, I think uh, introduction of uh, media, importance of communication, media technology and multimedia needs to be adopted uh, in the syllabus. I think your question has got uh, two parts. One is uh, regarding the practical elements of uh, a particular subject and studying only theory out of it, that's one thing. Second thing is uh, you, you have asked us about the introduction of uh, multimedia. Uh, first thing is uh, our education system. See, basically uh, we have uh, our own uh, uh, confined uh, semesters, we have a limited time. Uh, every semester we may have to conduct the exam and uh, what uh, effectively can we teach a student. And most of the time I really agree with the fact that uh, a practical component may be missing in some of our uh, curriculum and uh, uh, say for example, Whenever we talk of our, okay, you belong to English literature. Uh, when we talk of about media, some uh, professional courses, most of the time there's a comment about, uh, even in your case, for example, uh, you study quite a lot of uh, literature and uh, uh, can you ever, ever uh, uh, try to write a poem or a short story or uh, whether have you a teacher, uh, uh, is it part of your curriculum? Whether, uh, as a student of English literature, you study quite a lot of, uh, uh, authors, poets, dramatists, and all those things. So again, it depends upon your uh, uh, creativity, your interest, and if you're really interested in literature, automatically on your own, you do it. And I really agree that uh, practical component is missing. Second thing is introduction of uh, communication subject at different levels is very, very important. Because you, you study literature, you study science, you study architecture, you study medicine, whatever the case may be. Communication plays an important role. And please don't forget the fact that communication is a subject, amalgamation of all subjects, even media. Media is amalgamation of all subjects. So you need science, you need mathematics, you need um, uh, physics, you need politics, you need cinema, you need crime, you need quite a lot of things. So um, in introduction of uh, some, uh, now I think, uh, uh, different colleges and different universities, they have started uh, uh, adopting uh, quite a lot of uh, courses on uh, multimedia usage at their undergraduate level, even at the 10, 10 plus 2 level, which will definitely help our students uh, to work on this so that uh, it will definitely benefit uh, quite a lot of our students and it will also uh, help them to build their very good future. Have I answered your question, Hilda? Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, 
uh, yeah, sir, if I would like to make a point, yeah. uh, we can see that the NCERT textbooks uh, prescribed for students right now, they come with QR codes at the beginning of each chapter. So if you are scanning the codes, you are redirected to a page which gives you much more intel regarding the chapter and the points being discussed. And even for experiments, you can scan a QR code next to the experiment and you are redirected to a YouTube page where you can see that experiment being conducted. So I believe that is a boon actually, especially when students are not able to go to their laboratories or do the experiments by themselves. They can see another person doing it and still understand. So when there is actually information overload on the internet, they don't have to go and scout for the exact information. They can easily take out their smartphones, scan it and see the correct one and understand better. So yeah, media is directly being incorporated into education these days. Uh, so yeah, I think we can move on to the next question. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Uh, my name is Roshni. I'm from Western May English literature. So my question is... BA or MA? MA English. MA English, very good. OK. So my question is, though new technological advancements in governance and the financial sector is a great boon, the widening digital device is a great concern. How can we ensure digital inclusivity? I think it's a relevant question during this current situation. Digital device? Yes, sir. <laughs> digital divide. Uh, the current situation, I think uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, has raised quite a lot of questions. Uh, there is no doubt that uh, definitely we have digital divide. And apart from that, I also made a very important point. Mere presence of technology will not complete the communication process. See, whenever we talk of our online classes, I really do not know. Uh, the respective governments, because of COVID-19, we take certain decisions to have classes online. And what is the percentage of uh, students who are attending uh, online classes? And what is the percentage of uh, people having uh, under Android phones? What is the percentage of uh, uh, areas where we have excellent uh, internet facility? And these are some of the basic questions that needs to be answered. You can't blame a student. At every point of time, you can't compel him uh, because uh, I do not know the situation in Kerala. Uh, even in a country like United States of America, if you travel extensively, you have quite a lot of areas where uh, which is out of reach. If this is the case, the digital divide is uh, uh, definitely persists in India, and maybe uh, it will take quite a lot of time. Maybe now, because of COVID-19, and it, it, it becomes inevitable, maybe gradually the technology and the facility may be strengthened. And uh, uh, I really do not know to what extent, uh, because uh, we are, uh, majority of our students are deprived the opportunity of uh, being access to quite a lot of uh, things because of digital divide. Maybe immediately, I don't think the situation may improve. But comparatively, after 2020, uh, I think we have around uh, 700 million internet users in India now. Uh, but when compared to 2020, I think gradually it's improving. Maybe in the coming days, the coming days, there, there will be there should be more uh, prominence to uh, technology, more prominence to internet, and even the availability of uh, technology needs to be taken care. Only then. Uh, the concept of digital divide uh, may uh, gradually disappear. Because right now, ours is a very big country. It's a very huge population because of uh, quite a lot of uh, social uh, uh, problems, economic problems. Immediately, within a fraction of a minute, it cannot be done. But it's a long, lengthy process. And gradually, uh, I think uh, the situation may improve. But right now, we are suffering with digital uh, divide. And the, even today, there are quite a lot of people who doesn't have access to internet and who are not in a position to listen to a lecture, the regular class. Because I, we see in the majority of our villages in our states, our, our, our my own students, they can they climb the roof, some people climb the uh, hill, some people are on the top of the tree just to access the internet signals. But still, they are not in a position to get the signals, and they are deprived of quite a lot of facilities. Maybe 
the coming days, we hope the situation may improve. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Yes, we did have an unprecedented increase in the number of internet users after we all started being Hindus from last March. And it's been more than a year. And uh, it is also interesting to note that uh, different state governments, even including our Kerala government, came up with a new internet program uh, called K-Phone, by which they were trying to make internet readily accessible to all. Even yesterday, the state uh, education minister had called a meeting of all internet service providers to ensure that almost all children, school going children, get access to internet. So internet has definitely become one among the basic necessities. No, inter you are going to provide internet. Uh, how will you provide the equipment? Where is the budget? Where is the budget? Where is the budget? Yeah, that is, is it possible? Is it possible for, for any respective government, elected government, uh, to give the equipment to each and every citizen of this country? Is it practically possible? What is the budget in all? That is definitely a barrier. Again, there are basic questions that needs to be answered. It's not that easy. Yes. <laughs> you see how we are fighting to get vaccinated now. Yes. <laughs> That's become a race actually to get vaccinated. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, the privilege. We, we hope raised. and we pray God that we let the situation improve. And we will uh, improve. There is no doubt about it. Just a passing yes, thing. It's a matter of time. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's a matter of time. Yeah. So, uh, if we have time, we could ask more questions. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yes. So we have another question. Uh, hello. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me. Yeah. Uh, hello, sir. Good morning. Uh, I'm Anjusha, a student of SIBA English. First of all, uh, glad You're to have you here, sir. BA English Literature. Yes, sir. Oh, all questions are posed from literature students. Very good. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So, can I ask with your permission, sir? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sir, readily accessible information has played a great role in uh, hindering the thought processes in uh, a lot of students. Like uh, the ready made answers are available for all the questions in internet. Uh, so, does, what is the purpose of uh, education really? So, what is your take on this, sir? See, basically, in, in internet or in a textbook or a book, somebody may, may have given the definition. The definition is only for your understanding. After understanding a particular subject, you have to come out with a definition. Is it not? See, any definition for any term, whether it is available on your internet or your textbook or whatever the case may be, that is for your understanding. After you digest the subject, you have to come out with your own definition, with your own interpretation. That is the main aim of education. Just repetition or just uh, mugging up and if you just uh, write some of the definitions, it will be of no use. Somebody has said this. You understand the subject, digest the subject, go in, do an in-depth study, and you come out with your own uh, uh, interpretation, your own opinion. You need not agree with me whenever I say something. You need not agree with me. You, if you are uh, a really a serious, uh, hardworking uh, person, if you have read very well, say, for example, you are a student of literature, you might have studied John Keats or Wordsworth or Shakespeare, or whatever the case may be. I have my own opinion about uh, Shakespeare, about his sonnets. You may not agree with me. After digesting Shakespeare, you can have your own interpretation. You can come up with your own uh, uh, definition. See, these are some of the basic things for just basics for understanding. They are not final. Is it not? You think it over. This is these all these definitions are uh, to, uh, to 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 uh, pass your competitive exams. Just to score marks. Scoring marks is different. Uh, leading uh, the meaningful life is different. If you want to succeed, there are other uh, options that needs to be done. So these ready-made answers are for you to digest, to understand. Is it clear? Uh, have I answered your question, sir. Anjusha? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That is definitely hurdle to be tackled in online education when you have students coming up with ready-made answers from the internet. <laughs> so as, a, as coming from a student, 
Um, so, uh, do we have another question? Hello, sir. Good afternoon. I am Fatima, a faculty from the Department of English. You're teaching English? Yes. Very good. Uh, so my question is, uh, why are we are using multimedia uh, when we have a target audience and such? Certain visuals can be exciting for some and sensitive for the others. So how do we strike a balance with such visuals on an emotional level, considering the humanitarian value that you mentioned earlier? You see, as a <clears throat> person with creativity, you are the better judge. See, you don't have a, a hard and fast rule because you do not know how your message will work. The uh, sensitivity or uh, uh, the humanity, all those elements, again, it depends. See, whenever you see a small piece of video, some people may wish, some people may laugh, some people may not uh, react at all. Again, it depends upon the viewing behavior of an individual. But here, the basic question is, as a communicator, what is your message? How we are going to make a presentation? And possibly try to see to it, you have a balanced presentation. You should not be uh, unbalanced. You should have a balanced presentation. But unless you leave your product, unless you leave, leave your product, you, you can't, uh, unless you get the feedback, you can't accept. So basically, you are at liberty. You are the better judge. Any communicator for that matter. Even when you do a multimedia, how text should be used, how audio should be used, how video should be used, how it should be edited, how effectively you are going to use the sound, how or where is the continuity, your presentation, is it a mild presentation, is it a very hard presentation, is it a heart touching presentation, or whether it is a, a comedy. See, all these components, as a communicator, you have to decide. So only once if you uh, leave the product out, only then I think you will be in a position to uh, study the feedback, understand the feedback. So you are the better judge. Normally, what we do is we, we just balance. We, uh, we don't uh, go out of the frame because each production, each multimedia production, we have our own framework. See, that all depends upon your concept, depends upon your message. Depends upon your target audience. Fatima, is it clear? Have I answered your question? Oh, yes, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. I believe the theme under discussion there would be perceptual selectivity when it comes to selecting what you wish to see or what you wish to convey to your multimedia. And you have one more uh, concept do we have in, more uh, questions? One, one second. In media, we have uh, one more theory which is called Cognitive dissonance theory, which is a very important theory which all of us should understand. See, whenever you have a piece of uh, video, whenever you have a piece of uh, newspaper uh, clipping or uh, whatever the case may be, uh, a reader, a listener, or a viewer, whatever the case may be, if he doesn't like a particular subject, say for example, immediately he will reject. That's called cognitive dissonance theory. That theory also we should be uh, very careful in understanding and uh, while uh, uh, production, you should keep all these theories in mind, otherwise it's very, very difficult. Yeah. Next, do you have any questions? It was really informative. Uh, do we have more questions? Yes, sir. Okay. So myself, I'm Bhavna Saju of L2BA English. And my question to you is that, since these multimedia platforms are used by millions of people, how do you think they create an equalizing platform for their users? What is that? Equal? Equalizing platform for the users. Equalizing platforms. You see, multimedia, we make a presentation. Uh, it cannot be measured equally. Each one will have their own perception. Each, each one will have their own understanding. It will happen with any piece of uh, uh, communication. See, it cannot be uniform. And please don't forget the fact, whenever you have a message, whenever we say to the target audience, why we repeatedly say that a communicator should understand the target audience is because the target audience is not uniform. It's not uh, 
only one uh, common uh, audience you have you have difference in age you have difference in language you have difference in income you have difference in uh, social aspects you have difference in education See, whenever there is a piece of video that is left out through multimedia a school going child to a 80 or 90 uh, uh, years old uh, person will also have an access so working in media it, it cannot be uh, like uh, only addressing the students of english literature only addressing the students of zoology no whenever you make a communication uh, piece when you make a small production in multimedia you have different uh, access access of different individuals with different backgrounds and again you may have quite a lot of uh, noises inside you may have the uh, see for example i am speaking in english i may have uh, my kannada accent in uh, english accent may be a hurdle presentation may be a hurdle usage of a word may be a hurdle presentation of a subject may be a hurdle so it cannot be treated uniformly this you have to very clearly understand because as a communicator i do not know uh, the receiving behavior of an individual what is his background what is his language what is his sentiment what is his age what is his education background so you can't generalize so what we do is you make a presentation see to it it is absorbed by a layman the language which you use very simple presentation should be very simple we take care that it reaches the majority of the population but still in the communication process there may be noises there may be hurdles there may be disturbances and at any point of time it cannot be considered uh, on a uniform platform it cannot be considered uniform thank you sir thank you so much okay bye thank you thank you for answering the question and sir uh, i believe we could have one more last question and then wind yeah. up yeah sir i am so happy to see you on the platform i am a uh, faculty from english department rahana yeah, my name is rahana and uh, i am in a little doubt to ask this question actually because mm -hmm. as we teachers uh, we find some difficulty in teaching literary criticism or some theoretical papers which are quite dry and uh, we find div uh, different uh, students with the different difficulty levels so can we incorporate multimedia technology in teaching literary criticism <laughs> Because basically, uh, basically teaching literature uh, basically teaching literature itself uh, definitely uh, you don't know teaching pardon literature, me, sir. Uh, teaching literature pardon, pardon itself me, is a cha challenge teaching literature <laughs> isn't that uh, literary because i was also a student of uh, literature that's why i know <laughs> thank uh, you sir studying, <laughs> studying literature isn't but uh, but definitely it can be used because as you said uh, there are difficulties uh, within students to uh, learn some of the theories of literary criticism and the concept of literary criticism definitely multimedia platform will be a very uh, useful platform for all our teachers very simply we, we can simplify we can uh, make some uh, multimedia production and definitely see to it uh, see, uh, uh, Rahana, Rahana, am I right? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, Rahana. Sir. Yes, Maybe sir. I'll just give you an example. See, my granddaughter is around, uh, she's around uh, uh, almost uh, seven or six years old. Uh, she, in, in one stretch, she can recite a film song. I myself can't remember. Immediately, she will uh, reproduce a film song. Whenever I tell her, uh, four ones are four, five ones are five, she takes some time. You can uh, make out the difference. You can make out the difference. So multimedia will be an excellent platform through presentation. Definitely, you can uh, see to it students uh, who face quite a lot of problems in understanding uh, literature related the topics, literary, uh, especially literary criticism. Definitely, you can make use of it, and uh, it can be uh, very effectively 
सिम वेरी कम्युनिकेटेड एंड वेरी सिंपल वे डेफिनेटली बिकॉज मीडिया हैज दिप्नोटिक इफेक्ट बट द चैलेंज इज हाउ डू यू मेक द प्रेजेंटेशन वॉट इज द ड्यूरेशन दीज थिंग्स नीड्स टू बी टेकन इफ यू जस्ट डू एन एक्सलेंट वेरी सिंपल स्क्रिप्ट डेफिनेटली यू कैन यूज मल्टी मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म टू टीच युअर स्टूडेंट्स लिटरेचर डिफिकल्ट दे नो डाउट अबाउट इट ओके सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू that was really helpful and we could all take it into practice sir uh, thank you so much for taking the time to answer the questions and we thank you for your presentation it was really helpful and i believe we can proceed on with the rest of the function okay. once again thank so, you for, thank you so sir i i so thank uh, uh, all the principal management and the teachers of ms college of marampalli uh, and i also thank um, mr md jayaram the chairman and the trust of the class chai and Mr. T. Vinay Kumar, uh, Mr. Ram T. Menon, all of them, uh, they have uh, uh, given me an opportunity to interact with, uh, with a lot of students. And uh, my, as a director of uh, PSCI, my sincere request to all my young uh, communicators. So you belong to most of you belong to literature background and journalism background and all other different faculty and uh, uh, English uh, literature basically. Make use of uh, YCC. You can organize for a lot of programs. it will be very beneficial once again thank you one and all thank you very much uh, thank you thank you it was a really informative session from your words it is evident that the time is deciding factor to the accreditation and perhaps the future in communication technology we have learned a lot from this session and i thank you for sharing your wisdom and knowledge and for clearing all our queries sir once thank again you. thank you thank you thank you thank you much It looks like some of the Kerala YCC members are excited that we are with them. So let us hear their joy and happiness, shall we? MES College Marampilli, congratulations on the inauguration of the Young Communicators Club. I'd like to thank and commend the principal, staff, teachers, students, and everyone who's working behind this. This will be a great opportunity, a great platform, and let's all join hands to create a world of amazing communicators for the future. Uh, my name is Samuel James, and I am the president of the PRCA YCC chapter of Sacred Heart College, and I wish you the very best. Hello, everyone. This is Sadie Lakshmi. On behalf of the YCC chapter at St. Teresa's College, Ernakulam, I sincerely congratulate the principal, the teachers, and the student community of MES College, Marampalli. I sincerely wish nothing but the best for you, and I heartily welcome you all to this YCC fraternity. Thank you. Hello, I'm Srulas, president of YCC Amrita School of Arts and Sciences, Kochi. On behalf of my institution, I would like to congratulate. and extend my best wishes to the principal students and teachers of MES College Marampilli on the inauguration of the Young Communicators Club it will bring a great opportunity for the students all the best wishing all the very best to the principal office bearers faculty coordinators teachers and students of MES College Marampilli on the inauguration of Young Communicators Club at your college best wishes for all your endeavors On behalf of Saint Joseph's College, Devagiri YCC, Eileen Rhea Thomas, the president. Hi, good morning, everyone. This is Mahesh Sheth. I am the president of YCC Saint Joseph's College, Kannada. We are really glad to know that another epic pride in Ernakulam, MES Marampilli, is also joining the YCC family. On behalf of everyone from Saint Joseph's College, I extend my happy regards to the principal, teachers, office bearers, and students of MES College for the inauguration of the Young Communicators Club. Best wishes to you. I am happy to know that the Young Communicators Club is going to inaugurate its new chapter in Kerala. Congratulations, Team MES Marambali, for this wonderful, wonderful opportunity, and make this happen. I wish you all the very best and all the success for the new beginning. Let's join hands to make this opportunity to the fullest and contribute to the society. On behalf of me, College of Management, myself, Charlotte Vestal, President of Young Communicators Club. 
once again. We wish you all the very best and success. Thank you. Now, let us welcome the office bearers of the YCC MES College Mahapalli. I am Henza Hashim from S2BA English Literature, Communication and Journalism. My name is Joe Nelson. I am Hiba Mariam. My name is Isidat Moriat. My name is Fatima Ashraf and I'm a first year student at MES College Marambali. And I'm studying in S5B English of MES College Marambali. I'm a first year student learning BA English Literature, Communication and Journalism in MES College Marambali. I'm from S5B English of MES College Marambali. I'm currently studying BA English Literature with Journalism and Communication. I am proud to say that I am the student president of the Young Communicators Club of my college, MES Marambali. The reason why I joined the Young Communicators Club is because it gives me a better perspective in the world that I live in. From my experiences, there is nothing more fascinating than gaining new skills. The reason why I joined the Young Communicators Club, my college, is to experience what the outside world is like get out of my comfort zone so that I can improve myself in all aspects of life. Even as a child, I have always loved chasing after the thrill and contentment that came with working as a team and guiding them to success. Meeting new people and learning new things has always piqued my interest. I mainly joined this club to get proper training and guidance from experienced personalities who works in the communication field and also to get to know how this field actually works. It gives me goals to achieve. It gives me challenges to face. And I think the Young Communicators Club is going to be a better platform for me to showcase my talents and my skills. I can't express my joy of being a part of YCC and I look forward to more growing through learning and achieving my objectives. I have always loved interacting with people and maintaining amiable connections as it has helped me in gaining surplus knowledge on various subjects. By joining the Young Communicators Club, I'm certain that it will open a multitude of doors for me to learn and improvise in the field of communication and benefit me in my pursuit of choosing the best career path. Greetings to you all. In this world, where everything revolves around the media, the ability to communicate and express ourselves has become crucial. The Public Relations Council of India has been contributing to the purpose of eliminating the divide and facilitating seamless interactions between students and veterans from the field of PR and marketing. Young Communicators Club, the youth wing of PRCI, was formed with the intention to represent the youth and mentor them to become responsible citizens for tomorrow. I'm certain that the students of MES College Marampalli across all the disciplines shall be greatly benefited by this novel venture. As faculty coordinator, YCC MES College Marampalli, I'm elated to work alongside the veterans and provide the best of opportunities to the students of our institution. That being said, I'm Rajiv Rajkumar, Assistant Professor, Department of English, MES College, Marambali. And that's how we are. That's the old uh, office member, office bearers of the MES College, Marambali. And uh, now it is the time for the most exciting part of the function, the Office Bearers Oath Taking Ceremony. We are honored to have here Mr. U.S. Koti, the National Secretary General of PERCI, to administer the oath. With about 40 years of illustrious careers behind the Saubaik Advertising in Bombay, Mr. U.S. Koti has organized more than 800 press conferences for both public and private sectors, as well as the state government. He is one of the founders of Koti Advertising Club, 
and a trustee of the prestigious Pepper Awards. I wholeheartedly and cordially welcome Mr. U.S. Kuti to administer the opening ceremony. Sir, please take away. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me? Can you hear? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, OK. Uh, uh, most respected chief guest of the day, Dr. Bindu, our honorable minister, and uh, Mr. Janab M.A. Mohammed Chairman, MES College, and our uh, uh, Jairam Sir, and BK Revithav, Mr. Vinayan, and Mr. Ram, Ramchandra Menon, and CJ Singh, and all the other uh, PRCI uh, office bearers in various parts of India. I uh, take this opportunity to thank the newly elected YCC uh, team in MES College Marambali with the leadership of Densa Hazim and team. So I will just uh, uh, read the word and you can all. Uh, As the member of the. Can you repeat? As the, as the member of the PRCIYCC, MES College, Marambili Chapter, affirm that affirm that I shall abide by the Principles and philosophy of the principles and philosophy Public Relation Council of India for Young Communicators Club. Public Relations Council of India for Young Communicators Club. I shall strive to I shall strive to stand by the motto to stand by the motto to stand by the motto to Communicate for the better world. Communicate for the better world. I further swear. I further swear. I further swear. To faithfully. 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 Discharge my duties. Discharge my duties. As the member of PRCA YCC. As the member of PRCA YCC. MES College Marambili. The best of my ability. The best of my ability. Jai Him. So thank you once again because you are all from the English literature. We have two magazines called Kautilya as well as uh, Chanakya. It can all contribute your uh, talent uh, for sending some of the articles in future. So thank you once again to all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next, I invite Mr. U.S. Kuti, the Secretary General, to speak a few words of encouragement. He has already spoken. No need to do further thing. I think it's left out. We'll, we shall go to the next, the next item, please. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, Geeta, madam, is there. Ask her to speak. She's yeah, the yeah. President. Geeta, Geeta Sangar, yeah. president, is there, YCC president. CJ Singh and uh, Mr. Ramendra. Yes, yes. Why don't you invite her? Gida, Gida Shankar, President of ICC and Mender. Please. I invite Ms. Gita Shankar, the President of ICC, to speak a few words of encouragement. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, hearty congratulations uh, to MES College. Uh, it's uh, a great uh, move. Again, lots of ICC chapters being formed. We wish. Uh, you continue it and do it with a lot of exuberance, etc. because you are the youth for tomorrow and to find solutions. You have to find solutions. You have to 
stay together uh, because we believe that uh, vision without execution is hallucination. So you need a lot of vision. And then, uh, in fact, on this occasion, we've been very fortunate to have uh, Dr. Ravi with us. Well, uh, he is really an expert and uh, every word, every line what he speaks makes a lot of a difference and it has got so much of meaning. He spoke about the perceptions, etc. And so uh, we are really fortunate and congratulations and uh, great luck to all of you. Thank you so much. Next is Ramendra Kumar, our director and editor of Kaudilya magazine. Ramendra Kumar. CJ is CJ. CJ, CJ has left there, Ramji. Okay. Ramendra, I don't know whether he is there still. He was there. Next, I invite Dr. Ramendra Kumar to speak a few words of encouragement. Sir, are you mute, sir? And it was uh, very, very uh, insightful. You know, there were so many things which I was having a lot of confusion. And he cl clarified in such an insightful way. And uh, my best wishes to the new chapter. And uh, I'm sure whatever starts on a Monday morning will bloom and blossom. So all the very best to you guys. And uh, let's uh, work hard and, uh, uh, how should I say, fulfill the vision of every communication professional in the country. Thank you. Thank you, Geetha, ma'am. And thank you, Ramita, sir. That was indeed a words of encouragement. And as we as we are, we are more delighted to be a part of you. And it is also a privilege for us to be a part of you as the whole college is. And as all the dignitaries have spoken about it, let our communicators club, let it be a shining beacon that it may improve the technology in communication sectors. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, all. Next, uh, we move on to the felicitations. Um, I would like to call Mr. J.B. Uh, Sadashivan, who is the General Secretary of PRCI, Kochi. It's immense delight. I welcome you, sir, to give us the felicitations. I don't think G.B. Sadashivan is here today with us. G.B. Sadashivan is the, the Kerala correspondent of uh, the Hindustan, Hindustan Samajar and the joint former Joint Secretary of Ernaglam Press Club. He is busy with the, some reporting, reporting job. So I think he is not here today with us. Uh, up next, we have our beloved teacher and mentor, Dr. Bindu Jamal. She has been a guiding light and a driving force of our department. Ma'am, I welcome you to give us the final felicitation. Thank you, Fatima. Good afternoon, one and all, respective dignitaries, beloved teachers, dear students. Against the backdrop of World Environment Day reminders of new beginnings and reawakenings, let me first of all offer a bouquet of green to the newly sworn in office bearers of the YCC chapter of MES Asmavi, MES Marabili College. As you may have all noted, our office bearers are young, smart, eager, focused, tech savvy, talented, and they are indeed the promise of our tomorrows. I 
once again from my heart because I have been with them uh, together these last five days and they have been doing so much. They have put in so much hard work uh, to make this inaugural function a big reality. So I congratulate once again my team, my CC of Marambili College and the faculty coordinator, British Rajkumar. Now, from the side of the Department of English, uh, we'll make every effort to keep the YCC wing active and meaningful with the strong support of uh, its parent, PRCI. Certainly, PRCI is a professional body, as we all know. They have got great uh, adm and admirable organizational depth. They have got great media reach, uh, networking. And so I feel, or our college feels that uh, this associating with PRCI will benefit the student community and make them career ready in multiple ways. I'm sure uh, YCC is promised that students can get access to the best and the most influential shapers and movers of the public relations industry. So that is our expectation from PRCI. And uh, as Mr. Ram, uh, who has been our contact point, has been uh, uh, telling, promising us, uh, we'll be getting uh, almost on a monthly basis uh, uh, one or the other experts in the field of PR and uh, other, in, other, in, uh, other related industries. As you all know, our college, it, is, it has several disciplines. Now we have animation besides the English language, uh, and literature which offers journalism uh, as a, a complementary course. We also have animation, there is an MHRM department, uh, we have the business administration department, and um, there are students from other disciplines also who want to make it into the PR world. And uh, since ours is the uh, is it time when uh, we talk in terms of interdisciplinary collaborations, I think uh, PRCI can do a, make a big change uh, uh, when it comes to uh, the academy when it enters the academic world. So uh, I hope uh, our uh, aspirations and our expectations will be met by PRCI. Now, uh, another thing I would like to I'm speaking from a mind. Uh, what I want to and it's almost informal, but then what I want to say is that. Um, if the interventions of Mr. Uh, Ram C. Mohan, Director of PRCI Kerala, YCC Kerala Chapter, uh, in helping us bring together uh, this professionally curated program is anything to go by because we have almost all the executive members uh, uh, joining us. Uh, I'm sure the college can look forward to a highly mutually rewarding partnership in terms of guidance, mentorship, and access to the best in the media and public relations industry. And uh, I think uh, uh, Mr. Ram has sprung a surprise uh, for us uh, in getting all the new office bearers from other YCC colleges. Uh, I think we are the seventh to join this new program. Uh, all the six uh, YCC presidents, the young presidents have uh, felicitated our chapter and I think it is uh, the, one of the first lessons in the possibilities of professional networking and mutual cooperation. I also take this uh, Ram sir, I hope uh, uh, I thank you uh, for being with us at every level uh, of this program. I also take this opportunity to thank Mr. M. V. Jairam, Chairman Emeritus and Chief Mentor PRCI for choosing our college from the many to be its partner in this industry uh, and uh, in this industry into actually industry um, institution interface special thanks uh, to um, uh, to uh, once again to Ramsey Menon uh, for interacting with us very warmly and uh, uh, interacting with us at a micro uh, level to make uh, the, the YCC a reality in our college and if uh, uh, building relationships is a vital part of networking, 
then we have Mr. Ram for us. Thank you, sir. Now, I would also like to officially thank the Honorable Minister of Higher Education, Dr. R. Bindu, for inaugurating the YCC chapter. Uh, and as you all know, you might have noticed that she was very busy. She wanted to be here with us. But then again, I think uh, the uh, Legislative Assembly is a meeting and she was a hard, uh, a hard push for time. And that's why we had that um, recorded message. Uh, but then again, uh, she, she, uh, she, uh, she was not that easily accessible. And I must really thank my friends at, um, uh, at AKP City, the uh, Earth Teachers Union, Dr. Arun and Dr. Umesh Bhitti for paving uh, the way to access the minister at very short notice. I also thank uh, Dr. B.R. Rao, our keynote speaker, for being here with us and patiently answering to us to the questions uh, put forth by our students and faculty. I also uh, thank uh, Dr. Mansoor Ali. Of course, it goes without saying, Mansoor Ali, all other uh, teach, uh, faculty members of the college and the students who in the respective ways have contributed to making this inaugural function a success and a reality. I once again wish all success to the YCC chapter of MES College Barangay and I look forward uh, to a close association with PRCI. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Thank you so much, ma'am. As our event comes to an end, I invite the president of the Young Communicators Club of MES College, Marampalli, Ms. Henza Hashim, to propose with the vote of thanks. Thank you, Fatima. Gratitude is one of the least articulate of emotions, especially when it's weak. A very warm good afternoon to one and all present here. I, Henza Hashim, student president of Young Communicators Club of MES College, Marumbili, feel extremely privileged to have been asked to render the vote of thanks for this occasion. I, first of all, start by thanking the Almighty for making today's event a resounding success. Now, with utmost distinct honor, I extend my sincere gratitude to our chief guest, Dr. R. Bindu, who took time out of her busy schedule for, her, for sending her regards to officially inaugurate our function. Thank you so much, ma'am. Wholeheartedly, I must thank Dr. B. K. Ravi for rendering the keynote address on such a relevant topic and patiently answering all our doubts and queries. Thank you, sir. It was really informative. I must also thank Mr. M.D. Jairam, along with all the esteemed dignitaries of PRCI for gracing the occasion with your valuable presence. Thank you, everyone. Now, with a deep sense of appreciation, I must thank Mr. Ramsey Menon for being our point of contact and guiding us precisely through this entire process. It was an indeed honor working with you, sir, and looking forward to many more future endeavors with you. A special mention to our principal in charge, Dr. Mansoor Ali PP, and HOD, Dr. Bindu Jamal, for being the catalyst that stimulated us to do our best. As quoted by Henry Ford, if everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself. I thank the entire organizing team and all the members of my club for making this function happen. Last but not the least, I thank the entire crowd for their active participation throughout the function. Once again, thanking each and every one for their vital appearance. Wishing you all a good day ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Hansa. As the day is drawn to a close, we'd like to leave you all with this pop. Joy, so, can I? I would like to share a few words before we Okay, sir. Go ahead, sir. Go okay. ahead, sir. Okay. 
uh, Alba, thanks uh, a ton for uh, you know for all those nice words all of you have spoken about me. I'm honored, and it was a pleasure working with you. And in fact, I must say that okay, it's a big congratulations to you from Bindu Ma'am, from Dr. Mansoor to Bindu Ma'am to uh, Rajesh to and to the entire student team because you made it just just five days. Because for all my PRCI uh, friends here, in fact, there was another college who was supposed to do this program on this day, but they had a COVID-related uh, challenge. So in fact, they said okay, they requested for another date. And since for all our national functionaries, uh, PRCA blocked this date, I didn't want to cancel this date. So then I requested actually Bindu Ma'am whether we can go ahead and, and she didn't think even for a single moment. She said, let's go ahead. And that was a greatest support to me. And uh, for the entire team, I must say five day, five day in fact, it uh, really, really did wonders. And I have a wonderful program. And thank you so much. And congratulations to the, all the office bearers. Let's keep working on and uh, have a meaningful uh, engagement. And I also take this uh, opportunity to uh, thank my entire PRCI team, right from Jairamji to Vinay to Mabuti to everyone, to Chinmayji, uh, everyone who actually supported me in this particular uh, inauguration. And uh, I must say, Joel and Fatima, you guys have done a wonderful job. I'm so happy the way you presented. And I'm sure not only I'm actually uh, they all would have definitely uh, found you are very talented and keep enhancing your talent. And a big thanks to everyone here, uh, especially the college team. And I also would like to acknowledge uh, my gratitude to Geetu Merit, the faculty in uh, fashion designing. Well, she's my friend. She's the one who actually introduced me to the Dr. Mansur Ali and there it all started. So I take this opportunity to thank Geetu also. And this is all what uh, we all look forward. Entire PRCA team is here from the entire country is there to support you. Please utilize uh, this wisdom and uh, let us get ahead. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank for you so words, much, sir. sir. Thank you. We look forward to your cooperation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your kind words, Ram, sir. Yeah, it was a wonderful it. I'd like to thank Ram sir for his kind words. It was it was definitely indeed a wonderful session. Uh, Bindu ma'am uh, definitely deserves a special applause for organizing and honoring our request in a, in a very short notice, as Ram said. We were interacting very, very often, even yesterday night also we were talking and discussing about how to go because it's, it was a very you know, short very short notice you organized the program. Thank you. Thank you for honoring our request and and doing such a fantastic and fabulous program. Wonderful. Keep up. Keep it. Keep it up. Thank you for the kind words, sir. We like to work, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. As the day is drawn to a close, we would like to leave you all with this quote. Quote, advertising is saying you're good. PR is getting someone else to say that you're good. On that note, thank you all for joining this special moment with us. Let God be with us till we meet again. So take care and stay safe. Jai Hind.